Most of the time, a lie just creates a problem that ought not to happen. Lady out here in Shaco has a daughter and son-in-law who live in town. It seems like one night the daughter and son-in-law had plans to go out to dinner, then to a party one night about a month ago. They got all dressed up and found out that their car wouldn't start, so they called a taxi. They turned on the nightlight, turned on the burglar alarm, covered a pet parrot's cage, and put the cat out in the backyard. Well, the taxi driver came, and they opened up the front door to leave the house, and as they walked out the front door, the cat, who'd come around to the front yard, scooted back into the house. Well, they didn't want the cat shut up in the house while they were gone because she always tries to get after parrot. Well, the daughter walked out to the taxi while the son-in-law went back inside to get the cat. And the cat was upstairs with the son-in-law in hot pursuit. Well, the daughter, who was waiting out in the cab, didn't want the driver to know that the house would be empty for the night and lied to the taxi driver that her husband <laughs> would be out soon, said he's just going upstairs to say goodbye to my mother. And a few minutes later, son-in-law came out and got in a taxi and said, I'm sorry it took so long. That stupid old thing was hiding under the bed and I had to poke her in the behind with a coat hanger and a mop handle to get her to come out. And she tried to take off, so I grabbed her by the neck. She started howling and trying to scratch me. And I had to wrap her in a blanket, keep her from scratching me, and hauled her downstairs and threw her out in the backyard. She better not use the bathroom in the flower bed again. When she gets upset like she did this morning, or I'll fix her. <laughs> well, <laughs> the taxi driver didn't much want to get any more into this conversation. But later on that night, he did tell his wife about it. <laughs> now it's all over town about how awful the lady out here's son-in-law treats her. You know, lies will do that. <laughs> I'm Jim Ritchie, and I'll see you again next time.